Marty! <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Shelter in place, connected in place. We have, this is such a special evening. I'm totally overwhelmed and uh, excited. We have a small, fully vaccinated audience in the house this evening. Yes. Give it up for the audience. Yes. yes. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. All right, all right. Yes. Uh, and we have a very, very special guest all the way from Rio de Janeiro. Bio Tijuca is the neighborhood, right? <laughs> See, see, we're going all the way to the origins, all the way to the origins, from Rio de Janeiro by way of of New York City and New Jersey, United States of New Jersey, United States of New Jersey, and Reno, Nevada. Mr. Romero Lubumbo. Yeah. (laughs) So I call him his his nick. One of his nicknames is the Master, which sounds super pretentious until you hear him make play guitar and you're like, oh, okay. Okay, I now it. I understand. I of course, of course. At least you have to say that, Master. Yes. At least. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so much for being here. No, no, no. You always talk a lot because you have, this is the 60th yes. time that you do this alone. Yeah. yeah. But now I have anymore. to talk a little bit. I'm not alone Peter, anymore. thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's an honor. It's really, inc- I, I can't, I don't have words in English to say how happy I am here to play with you, to share this music, to share this space, the physical space with you and with these beautiful people, your parents there that I love so much, my parents also. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you so much for being here with us and people that are watching us in the internet. Thank you so much for being here, including my mother in Brazil, my uncle, Ronaldo, my brother, Leila, my sister. Well, and you better talk in Portuguese and you know, they don't understand a word you're saying. So oh, give, yeah, that's give true. Give me a little Portuguese. Give me a little Hello. Portuguese. Ok, mãe, obrigado por estar aí com a gente. Mãe, o Vabá, Ronaldo, Leila, minha família maravilhosa, meus amigos maravilhosos, não só no Brasil, mas em todo o, o, o mundo, né? Tem, tem espalhado brasileiro para tudo quanto é lado. Obrigado. Dona Pullen is here. So happy to see you. Thank you. Jarbas, obrigado, queridão. Estamos fazendo de novo aí. Ok. I, I I'll too only much add obrigado and tudo bom. That's good. There we go. <laughs> That's good enough. And, and cachaça. And cachaça. You're going to talk about that We're later. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Later, I'm very a excited later. about that. Um, so that was the first composition was a special request from Homero. That is a song I wrote a few years ago called Garaches Parish. Garaches Parish, also known as Cuba, New Orleans. Yes. And what are we going to Oh, you, have a, you had a great idea for the next tune, kind of doing it a little different than we've done it before. Yeah. I said, let's, let's you know, we had a list already of the songs, and I said, let me put a little Joe Bean there in the middle of this whole yes. thing. It's always good, right? It's a good mix. Anything you do and you put Joe Bean in the middle, it's great. Mix. Yes. So I said, let's play something that you probably know very well called Tristi in a different way. Let's <laughs> do it. A little bit different.
Gabi! Antônio Carlos Jobim! Very good. Antonio Carlos Jobim. That, uh, that reminds me, we did a concert one time years ago. I only made this mistake once, I'll say. Um, you, you know the story, right? Maybe. We were playing some music of Joe Beam, and I had been, I was so excited to be playing. I think it was the first time we played duo, maybe. And I was so excited. I was practicing. I was, like, researching Joe Beam. I'm looking at Wikipedia, at, like, statues of him, studying his biography, <laughs> chord changes, everything. And we go to play one of his songs, and Homero comes in all relaxed, Mr. Brazilian. I know all the music. I was like, yeah, I've been studying too, buddy. I've been studying too. And so um, we started playing, and I thought I caught him with one wrong note in one chord. And I said, hold, hold on, we're rehearsing. I said, hold on a second. Actually, that C major 7 has a raised fifth. That's the way Jobim wrote it, sorry. And um, Romero looked at me, and he said, oh, yes, I think he did write it. But I remember when I was playing with Tom at Carnegie Hall, he changed that note and showed it to me. Tom is Tom Jobim. Well, <laughs> only people that work with him at Carnegie Hall sorry, apparently sorry know that. <laughs> and he said, we sorry. could do the original the way that he sorry. changed it later. So <laughs> ever since then, I've been learning a lot. So. <laughs> yeah, Tom did this way. <laughs> <laughs> In Brazil, we call him Tom. Yes, you call him Tom. Tom. Um, all right, so next we'd like to play. Can you tell folks about this? Because you taught me this song this morning. This is so exciting for me about playing with uh, other musicians again. Uh, and you brought this tune in this morning, and I'm just in love with it already. I've been thinking about it all day. It's and beautiful. It's yeah. Yeah, one day at home last week, I, I, I woke up and thinking about this song, and, uh, and uh, I couldn't stop playing that song in my mind. I said, I'm going to send that to Peter, see if he likes, and uh, we rehearse it today, and we are going to play for you. This is a song by uh, Edu Lobo. Edu Lobo is a huge, amazing composer and singer, from Brazil, very, very, very important to Brazilian music. He has incredible music. And I, I'm lucky enough that I did three albums with him. The two last ones was uh, Edu, and me, and a friend of ours, uh, Mauro Seniz. He's a saxophone player, very great friend and great musician. And this one, we recorded in, in the first of the, the three albums. and. Um, the name of the song is Noturna, and uh, the name of the album is Dois Navegantes. Dois Navegantes. And this album happened, should I say that or not? Yes, yeah. Yeah. But tell me about how you won the Grammy for it, because that's fun, too. Oh, that's the one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the right. one. That <laughs> the, in this uh, uh, album that we recorded this song, we got the Grammy, the Latin Grammy for the best album ever in, in the world. No, no. <laughs> 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 the best album <laughs> of the year, Brazilian music. And that's a beautiful album, actually, Dois Navegantes, by uh, Edu Lobo, Mauro Seniz, and Romero Lubambo. And this song is a, it, it's simple and just beautiful. And uh, Peter happened to like it, so we're going to play for you, called Noturna, by Edu Lobo.
Peter Morby.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was Cole Porter's. Is this song still like allowed to be played? I just thought about that. If you don't sing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can't do the the lyrics. Don't don't they, they don't last. Yeah, That's love for sale. It was it was a different time. It's Cole Porter. It doesn't get any more. Uh, but you know, in the heartland, yeah, no, that's it's 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 bad without, without the lyrics, it's acceptable. It's a great tune, it's good. but yeah, yeah, love for sale. In any good. case, <laughs> um, should we do a little Caetano Caetano Veloso? Yes, we were talking about yes. this. Yes. Um, this is a beautiful song written by the amazing Brazilian composer and um, political activist, poet, guitarist, uh, and and all around. National treasure out of Brazil, Caetano Veloso. Yes. Um, who you, I had the pleasure of meeting. Uh, you introduced me. Do you remember that in Perugia, yeah, Italy? In Perugia, we walked yeah. around the corner, and there he was. Beautiful guy. Beautiful yeah. guy. Beautiful. So if you stick with uh, folks in high places, things work out well. I, te I told you. <laughs> um, so this is his trios urbanos. Why is my butt? Let me just translate for, for Portuguese. Trilhos urbanos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Peter <laughs> Martin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Thank you very much. That's Samara Labombo. Ah. That's Alone Together. Alone Together. That's a great one to play. I played it alone. I, I enjoy playing it together. together. A little bit better. <laughs> so tonight we are sponsored by one of our dearest sponsors, one of our first sponsors when we started this whole shelter in place journey. Uh, that's none other than Parker's Table. John Parker, uh, who's a dear friend, a, a, a fantastic purveyor. Like, you know, you, you can just sell stuff and you can deal stuff. And, well, yeah, you, we, sh we shouldn't say deal. But, you know, there's different levels of getting fine goods to consumers. But once you hit purveyor, I don't throw that term around lightly, Homero. I don't know about no, you. No, 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 no. I, I don't know what it is. But John, I, John, I <laughs> John Parker is a purveyor, purveyor of some of the best wines. Uh, sausages, breads, cheeses, yes. all the good stuff right here in St. Louis, Missouri. So if you're local, if you're not local, when you get a chance to come to St. Louis, make sure you stop by Parker's Table over on Clayton Avenue, right behind the huge Amico sign by Forest Park. And um, it's a very special place with special people. And he's actually in the house tonight, Homero. This is going to interest you because this is Novo Fogel. Novo Fogel. Novo yes. Fogel. This is silver. <laughs> Cachaça. Cachaça, which is Brazilian rum. Uh, which is oh see now he gets his microphone out now he's getting now he's getting his, tell him about this Cachaça. what you know about that ladies and gentlemen here is novo fogo cachaça silver cachaça oh there's <laughs> cachaça novo fogo if you want to be happy and light and healthy novo fogo is the cachaça <laughs> a what 21 and over. Oh, in Brazil, it's, it's 5 and over. Five but and here, over it's 21 and over. Here in the U.S., 21 and over. <laughs> so we thank you, Parker's Table. No and thank you so much. And then tonight, we're going to drink this afterwards, if you guys are up for it. Um, also, we are um, sponsored by Open Studio. We are in an Open Studio. And I'll just say that Homero Lubumbo is not only an amazing, world-class, Grammy Award-winning uh, guitarist and artist, but he's also our very uh, our number two Going back in time, artist, I was the first one. I was there at Open Studio course, before there was an Open before Studio. Me, before but me. But this was the first artist that I brought into the Open Studio family, and I'm so appreciative to that. And your courses are amazing. You've inspired folks around the world. So check that out at OpenStudioJazz.com. Yes. And also, when you get a chance, pick up a virtual ticket, which is, as we expand the production, becomes even more important, need I say more, to bring in gentlemen like Romero Lubombo to St. Louis from the West Coast, and you can go to petermartin.live to pick up a virtual ticket. Do you know about virtual tickets? Yeah, I know, but I, I had some, some, some folks uh, asking me because it starts at $4, four dollars, the, the it ticket. It starts at $4. So right. $4, which yeah. is very cheap. But, yeah. but it, it goes to $1,000. You don't need to buy just $4. If you want $2,000... It's probably available. I don't know. I'm that's like sure. the purveyor level. That's purveyor. What we call that. That's if <laughs> you want to go straight up. I've been learning up, this word today. If the you want to go purveyor, level. but no, anything is much appreciated um, uh, because our, our main thing is keeping this open and free to everybody on YouTube from around the world. And we thank you guys. We thank our VIP ticket buyers um, who are many and have been with us since the beginning. Thank you guys so much. You've kept this going and made it so that all of this is possible. We have an incredible cameraman. We've got. We've yes. got stuff that I never thought. I was just a couple weeks ago, I was in here with a bunch of robots <laughs> by myself, hoping that the thing was working, looking nervously at my phone to see if, if somebody from my team was texting me saying, we can't hear anything. So uh, I can say it was very exciting to be in here with uh, you, Homero, with you guys in the audience and the whole Open Studio team here. So mm -hmm. let's play a couple more tunes. We're going to extend this that's a little right, bit tonight. You're available? Yeah. You got another gig? What's happening? I have another gig, but I can do two more. Yeah, okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> oh, and also, when you, when you get a virtual ticket, 20% of all proceeds go to our nonprofit of the week, which we do every week. We've done this since the beginning. This week, it goes to Life Arts, Inc., which is an amazing organization right here in St. Louis in Ferguson, Missouri, uh, just a couple miles from here. Brian Owens, friend of Shelter in Place, friend of Open Studios, and uh, one of the most amazing musicians and vocalists anywhere, especially out of St. Louis. That's his nonprofit. He's doing amazing things, Life Arts, so um, let's all support them tonight as well. Please, let's okay. do that. Let's do that. And, and thanks again. Thank you, Open Studio. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Michael and, and Adam and, and Rachel and everybody here. It's a pleasure. I mean, it's a pleasure to do from my house, like I did many times, the live for Open Studio. But to be here is really special. After 14 months or something, Peter, to play with you. Oh, my gosh. This, this is a dream. Yes. 
Let's not stop. Let's not stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. You Should sure? I'd love to. Okay. So can you? Do you think Rose is gonna like that one? She she will love that one. Oh yeah. Okay. Good.
Beautiful. Beautiful. So fatale. Sounds so good, even when he's tuning. It's, it's like it's like you're playing a beautiful song there. I thought. <laughs> so we want to thank everybody for being here. Our audience in the house here at Open Studio. So excited to have that. And Mr. Lubombo, thank you so much for jetting in on the your semi-private jet. Um, and uh, yeah, well, yeah. I can't tell you guys how much it means. You guys, everybody out there in YouTube land, my VIP Zoom group, uh, everybody who's just help keeping us lifted keeping music going keeping us spiritually connected all these weeks um thank you dr fauci and thank yes, you and yes. thank you that dr what's her name Walens walensky man yes, she she came strong with that announcement yesterday thank you um let's play a little tango can we do a little tango a little dance vibe get people dancing out of here yes of course yeah That's or you nice. could just tune That's good too it's we all good <laughs> We're going to do a little improvised tango. Yes. Most likely we'll include playing our instruments, but could include more. We'll see. Anyway, Dancing or whatever. Thank so you, That's right. <laughs> We're going to do the tango, which is going to go right into the cachaça. So thank you guys so much. We'll be back with something uh, unexpected and unknown next week for the next edition. This is Romero Lobombo, everybody. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Peter Martin. Thank you guys so much.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.